How's it going? Garrett with CSI. Today we're going to talk about tires and how you're going to get the most out of them. They're becoming more and more expensive and harder and harder to get in today's uh, economic climate. And so we want to tell you um, how to get the most out of your tires and how to make them last the longest and get the most performance out of the tires. So whenever you buy a new tire, uh, especially a go-kart quarter inch tire, it's going to be wrapped in plastic and that's to keep the oils um, in the tire. If you let a tire sit around too long, you'll end up with it looking blue like this. And, and what's happened is the oils have escaped out of the tire. So if you were to put this on your race car and try to go around the track, it would slip and slide all over the place. Um, what we need to do at this point is get down to fresh rubber so we can um, make the most amount of grip with the race car, okay? So when we're done with our tires, we wanna wrap them. And it doesn't matter if you're racing pavement or dirt, you see the dirt late model guys wrap their tires. They're trying to keep them as fresh as possible. So there's a couple different ways to make this tire new again. Um, the first, if you have a tire lathe, we'll show you what we found the best way to surface the tire. Um, if you don't have a tire lathe or don't have a tire guy in your area that does, um, we'll show you how to do it uh, on your tire machine. Um, how we rip that tire open with a more aggressive pad and then finish sand it with a, a smaller one. Um, but it's very important to get optimum performance out of your tires. So we'll show you how to get this thing back down to nice black rubber. So when you go to cut your tire, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can use a, a flat template, um, which is just simply going to take a straight cut, or you can use a template that's specific for your tire. Um, so Larry Jones is um, gotten the radiuses of the tires, the size wheel, and uh, has machined that into this. And so I prefer to use this style template as long as you have it for, for your tire, right? So this is for a Hoosier uh, quarter midget tire on an eight inch wheel. If you don't, um, if you're trying to cut a Bridgestone or something else, you'll need a different profile template. So I've marked my template where it needs to go left to right but it still doesn't hurt to, when you turn the machine on, <clears throat> make sure that the template's centered with the tire. I have a scribe mark that I go off of this side, but if you don't have it centered, as it goes to do the radius of the tire, it's gonna uh, wanna dig in and gouge your tire. So what we'll do here is just make sure it's gonna follow the profile of the tire. So it looks like it does. We'll get to, to where I see the high spot in the tire and touch off. You always wanna use cold water with just a drop of soap. So this tire's never been cut before, so it's gonna be pretty intermittent for a, a moment. So now we're getting a pretty good cut. Still intermittent out on the edge. At this point, you kind of got to make a decision how much rubber you want to take off the tire to get it perfectly true. I'll give it another little shot here. And then uh, if that's not enough, then we'll just try to profile the edge with a sander. Otherwise, you get so much rubber off one end to try to get it square. So now you can see we're down um, really good all the way across the tire back to fresh rubber, um, except for this edge. So 
what we'll do is we'll profile that edge. We don't want to get uh, too far where we got too much off this outer edge trying to catch this. So we'll grab a sander and be right back. So what we have here is a variable speed sander, seven inch disc, 80 grit sandpaper is what we found to work best to give it a nice finish, um, but then not gouge the tire too much, okay? Certain tracks that are polished really, really smooth, I might use a coarser grit just to give the tire a little bit of an edge. Um, but most tracks where you're, you're actually wearing the tire, this 80 grit works really well. So what we're gonna do is try to give it a nice uniform finish and then touch off on this area over here that uh, is still blue. So again, you wanna use a lot of water. and we run the sander at a very low speed. I'll go across it a couple times. Then I'll spin it the opposite direction to get a little cross hatch of the grain to try to open the tire up and, and give it something to grab on. So you don't want this tire to be all sticky. Um, basically what you've done there is you've got the rubber too hot and smeared it together, close the pores back up. Um, you just want a nice uniform finish. And now you can see that old crummy blue tire is ready to go and make speed again. So some of you are probably thinking, I don't have a tire lathe, I don't have a tire guy. Um, that's no problem. We're gonna show you how to do it on a machine to get a similar uh, finish and uh, where you could use a tire again. So now we're over here armed with all sorts of stuff with another blue sealed up tire. So you can just sand across this and probably get rid of that blue. The problem with that is you're really not getting down to fresh rubber. Like we wanna remove some material like we did over there on the tire lathe and ensure we're getting down to some good rubber. So the first thing we're gonna use is a cuts all shaping disc. This is a medium, right? So it's a metal disc. And you have to be careful with this because it is a metal disc and it'll remove quite a bit of rubber. Um, but <clears throat> we're just gonna take some rubber off, then we'll go back and finish sand it to get it a nice finish. But this is a way to ensure we're getting down to fresh rubber. And then we're gonna show you how to prevent these things from getting blue like that. Again, a lot of water. So you'll see that shredded all that off, but that's pretty rough and aggressive, right? Like that's not an ideal surface finish. So we'll grab uh, our sander and get after it. Again, we're gonna sand at a low, low RPM, as low as that sander is gonna go. Um, we put some 60 grit on We'll do 60 and then come back across with the 80, but the 60 will help, help it get smooth here first. Then we'll finish it with 80. You can see we've smoothed that up some. Now we'll put this on and give it a nice finish.
You're not applying a lot of pressure because you don't want the tire to get gummed up. You'll know as soon as you don't have enough water because it'll start wanting to grab the sander out of your hand. The tire's getting gummed up and it'll grab the sander. It'll also have a bunch of rubber built up. You can see that's pretty clean. It'll have a bunch of black rubber. When that thing starts to get shiny, you're just smearing rubber and like sealing up the pores of the tire, which you don't want to do. So now you can see we've got a really nice finish. Um, not, not the exact finish of the lathe, but a really nice smooth finish. It does have a little bit of abrasion to it, so I feel like it's gonna help grip, but nowhere is it really shiny or, or sticky. So how do we prevent these things from ever getting blue, right? Like that's a pain in the neck to go through all that. Um, and I don't know if once the, the oils have escaped out of the tire, if it's gonna ever fire as quick again. So you really never wanna to get to that scenario. But um, if you ever have a tire that's feathered, that's a good way, either in a lathe or a couple different steps from aggressive down to smooth to get that off. Um, it's a great way to get feathering off the tire. So you want the tire pretty dry when you do this. So I just dried it off there with a rag. And um, this is just plastic wrap, right? So we're gonna wrap this thing up tight and keep this nice rubber we have in it sealed in it. Pull it tight so it seals around the edge. It's easy to do on one of these machines that you can slow down more of a two-person job to pull it this tight on the car but it can be done and just like that now it's sealed up and won't turn blue anymore so i'll tell you a little bit about the products we use just a regular four and a half inch uh, angle grinder you can get at any hardware store the cuts all wheel uh, we like to use the medium um, these are available on amazon they're pretty expensive but they last a long time that's the first one i've bought in five or six years. I think they're roughly $70. Um, a variable speed sander. Um, this is a Harbor Freight unit. They, um, it serves its purpose. And if you have to throw it away, it's less expensive. They do get rubber everywhere and, and can clog up the motors. We used two different grits on that tire because of the condition it was in. So a 60, then went back over it with a 40. Um, and again, you wanna run it at one of the lower speeds. Plastic wrap you can get um, any dollar store works fine. And then of course, the Tire Titan to scrape the tire ahead of time, um, which is available on our website.